Hello, on this video I will show you how to create a design for a pair of sneakers and it will look something like this. Okay, let's start. I'm going to close this project and create a new one. I'm going to go here to the project settings. I'm going to pick here the canvas size for our sneakers. And because I'll be using one single image for all the sides, I'll press no here. Okay. So, I'm going to start by creating a vector drawing. I'm going to choose here, triangle. And I'm going to choose here the Subtract Blend Mode and No Strokes. Okay. Let's see how this look. Already looks good. Let's continue here. Now I want to add an image. I'm going to go here and say image. I'm going to go here to textures. Pick this image here. Check this out and make it fit to page. And I'm going to go here to color, set the contrast to minus 200 and give it some saturation. And I'm going to go here and set the blend mode to multiply. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go here and pick colors of the laces. And upper mid sole, lower mid sole. This will look. We'll go here with the black eyelids. Okay. So now I want to add some text. Right here. Rock. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to pick a different color. And a different font. Ok, 
Okay, and then I'm going to go here, I'm going to add some shadow. Let's see. And then I'm going to go now and I'm going to add another image. This one here. And I'm going to make it fit to the page. And I'm going to give it blend mode. Difference or invert like this. Alright, let's see how it will look. Yeah, that's it. And you see here, the text on the other side is is mirrored. And to change that, let's let's pretend we're gonna buy this shoe. When you press the buy button, the images will be sent in the highest possible quality. So you can check it out. Here we go. And you see here that the image is inverted, is mirrored. And to change that, you have to press this button here, customize. And press here. And choose here, not mirrored. You see here that the text will be better. And I can buy this pair of shoes for 65 US dollars. Okay, let's go back to the editor. So you see how easy it was to make a pair of design for a pair of sneakers. And you know, we can just mess around. I mean, all I did here is I was messing around with the blend modes. And I, I did a vector drawing. And you see here, we can go back here and we can go to the colors. You can change colors around, play around with, the, with, with things, you know. You can have a completely different design just by pressing and playing around with different things. And we could also like be painting, we could smudging. For example, I could take this whole image and I could say here, select all, and I could insert as a new object see here a new object was created and then I can just delete all the others so now and then you know I can just save this image or I can you know paint go in and paint you know I can uh, you know paint with smudge I can paint here with March, for example, it looks pretty cool. You know, you can really do a lot of things. That paint has all the tools you need for making really nice artwork. And especially the, the smart tool here is really good for making abstract art. And there's also over here this much lighting. Sometimes when there's too much black, you know, the colors will disappear. So you use the smart lighting to put in some colors. For example, I could choose here smart lighting if I want to remove these black parts here. This. 
So let's go ahead and play around with the paint tool. I have made some other tutorial videos showing how to work with the paint tool. And it's pretty advanced. There's clone painting as well. So, and uh, there's also here, you can set here the scattering. And we could use here scatter doesn't work as much so we have to set to normal and we'll set here the color dynamics and I can paint like this or I could even choose here a different image This one, I have to pick up here a different color. So, you know, and you know, you can, you know, just, you know, use one single image. You can just go in and take one single image, for example, from Wikimedia, search, search here for party. Find any image we like. Make it fill the whole page. Give it some saturation, some contrast. And say here, new products. So, you don't need to be painting, it's up to you. You can just, you know, search for images on the internet, find something you like. 